Hi and welcome to this follow on video for solving equations in primary maths. Now we're going to tackle the hardest ones we need to worry about for now, um, where we have letters on both sides of the equals. <gasps> we're going to look super smart if we can do these, aren't we? So how can we solve how can we solve equations if we've got letters on both sides of the equals? Now, if you managed to get your head around solving the last video where we solved equations with um, letters in, it's not actually that much more difficult. There's one extra step we need. Now, before I teach you the super secret extra step, what I need to teach you is how we combine letters, which is really easy. It just looks difficult. So in algebra, let's say I have 7e, and I want to add 2e. Now I imagine that the letter stands for something like eggs. Well, if I had seven eggs and I add an extra two eggs, then I'd have nine eggs. If I had five apples and I added six apples, I'd have 11 apples. Do you see how we're combining the, the letters? We just add the number bits together. And I have, think it helps to imagine that the letter stands for something. So that way you remember, well, if I have five apples and I add six apples, then I have 11 apples in total. And that's how we combine letters in maths, in algebra. And taking away is exactly the same. So if I wanted to take away, let's say I've got 14, bananas and I minus nine bananas, I'm going to end up with five bananas. Excellent stuff. Now it's time for you to have a go. So let's say I've got 21 carrots and I'm going to take away 12 carrots. How many C's, how many carrots will I have left? Did you say nine carrots? If you did, super, well done, excellent. We can now take away and add things with letters in. <gasps> awesome stuff. We're going to need that because that is part of our extra step that we have when we have equations with two, with letters on two sides of the equals. So let's have a go at one of these. So if I have three, um, let's have three muffins. I couldn't think of something beginning with M then. Three muffins plus four is equal to two muffins plus, can't do mental maths now, uh, 11. There we go, couldn't do mental maths for a second. So the extra step that we're gonna do is we're going to take what, we're gonna work out the difference between our things with letters in. So we've got three muffins on this side and two muffins on this side. Now we're gonna move the two muffins to the other side of the equals. Now the equals is a balancing system, okay? It, the equals is like our scales. So each side of our equation has to be the same for it to be balanced. So if I move something to the other side, what I'm doing is really taking it away and finding the difference between the two. And so the difference between three muffins and two muffins is one muffin. So I've done three muffins, I've taken away two muffins to leave me with one, okay? So I've got one muffin, my plus four stays the same, and my 11 stays on that side, okay? Don't worry, we're going to go through a couple of these so that you get the gist of it. Now this looks exactly the same as the ones we did in the last video. And so we do the same thing, we say something plus four equals 11. Hmm. Well, that means to mean our something, oh, I've written the answer, our something is seven. If you said seven, well done, excellent stuff. Don't worry, we're going to have a practice of a couple more of these because that first extra step is a little bit confusing. So let's have a look at another one. 
Um, so let's do, let's do nine potatoes. <laughs> let's do nine P, nine potatoes minus seven is equal to seven potatoes plus three. Okay. Now, again, we look at our smallest number of letters, our smallest number of potatoes, which is our seven. And we take that away from the biggest one. So we're going to do nine potatoes, take away seven potatoes is going to leave us with two potatoes. And then the number bits stay the same. So two potatoes minus seven equals three. All we've done is worked out the difference between the potatoes on both sides of the equals. Then that looks exactly the same as the equations we could solve before. So something take away seven equals three. Hmm. Well, 10 take away seven equals three. So our two times something equals 10. What's our something? Can you work it out? Did you say that our something is equal to five? If you did, yeah, well done, excellent stuff. Our P, our unknown number, our potatoes were equal to five. Are we getting it a little bit more or are we still confusing? That's okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more to have an extra special practice. So this time we're gonna do six, um, six Y, you can claim Y as whatever you want. Um, six Y take away eight is equal to um, three Y. Oh gosh, I'm trying to do mental maths now. Um, oh yeah being silly there we go three y plus 16. now feel free to pause the video and have a go at doing this yourself go for it have a go the worst you can do is get it wrong and that's okay because i'm going to tell you the answer in a second anyway so pause the video and have a go now remember which one's bigger six y or three y well six is bigger than three so six y is bigger so we're going to take away three y so we have six take away three it gives us three y take away eight is equal to 60. And then that looks like the ones we did before. So th something take away eight is equal to 16. Well, 16 plus eight is equal to 24. So our three times something equals 24. So our something must be eight. Did you get it right? Well done if you did, excellent stuff. And that is how we solve equations with unknowns on both sides. Now, the last bit of the worksheet that's linked in the description has questions like this. So if you didn't manage to have a go at that before, definitely go and have a go now and get some practice because practice makes perfect. And that is the final one of our algebra videos for primary maths. Oh, my brain is hurting now. That was super tricky. So well done if you managed to follow that. Don't panic if you didn't. It is super tricky. Take a break, come back and have another go. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, leave them in the box below. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.